On January 31st, 1913, a mathematician named G. H. Hardy in Cambridge, England received a package of papers with a cover letter that began, Dear Sir, I beg to introduce myself to you as a clerk in the accounts department of the Post Trust Office at Madras on a salary of only £20 per annum. I am now about 23 years of age. And then went on to say that its author had made startling progress on a theory of divergent series in mathematics and had all but solved the long-standing problem of the distribution of prime numbers. The cover letter ended, being poor, if you are convinced that there is anything of value, I would like to have my theorems published. Being inexperienced, I would very highly value any advice you give me. Requesting to be excused for the trouble I give you, I remain, dear sir, Yours truly, S. Ramanujan. What followed were at least 11 pages of technical results. Then there are statements that suggest a kind of experimental approach to mathematics. But some things get more exotic with pages and pages of formulas like this. What are these? Where do they come from? Are they even correct? When one looks closely, each one has something more exotic and surprising going on and seems to involve a quite different level of mathematics. But what kind of person would have made them? And how? And are they all part of some bigger picture? Or in some sense, just scattered random facts of mathematics? Needless to say, there's a human story behind this. The remarkable story of Srinivasa Ramanujan. He was born in a smallish town, Kumbakonam in India on December 22nd, 1887. And by age 10, Ramanujan stood out by scoring top in his district in the standard exams. By the time Ramanujan got to college, all he wanted to do was mathematics and he failed his other classes and at one point ran away, causing his mother to send a missing person letter to the Hindu. When Ramanujan's mathematical friends didn't succeed in getting him a scholarship, Ramanujan started looking for jobs and wound up in March 1912 as an accounting clerk or effectively a human calculator for the port of Madras. The head of the port of Madras was a rather distinguished British civil engineer and partly through him Ramanujan started interacting with a network of technically oriented British expats. Meanwhile Ramanujan's expat friends were continuing to look for support for him and he decided to start writing to British mathematicians himself. It was that on Thursday, January 16, 1913, Ramanujan sent his letter to G.H. Hardy. So what was Hardy's reaction? First, he consulted Littlewood. Was it perhaps a practical joke? Were these formulas all already known or perhaps completely wrong? Some they recognized and knew were correct, but many they did not. Burton Russell wrote that by the next day, he found Hardy and Littlewood in a state of wild excitement because they believed they have found a second Newton, a Hindu clerk in Madras making 20 pounds a year. Hardy showed Ramanujan's letter to lots of people and started making inquiries with the government department that handled India. It took him a week to actually reply to Ramanujan. That was a signal Ramanujan was waiting for from England. And the rest, as they say, is mathematic history. To know a little bit more about that history, I had a brief chat with Professor Ponnusami, a mathematician who specializes in complex analysis and variables and is currently the president of Ramanujan Mathematical Society. Ramanujan at the early stage also done some nice work which young students can also understand. So that should be put as a part of our curriculum in school syllabus. At the advanced level, definitely there should be a book dealing with Ramanujan's day-to-day -day work and its impact and that should be prescribed as a textbook as one subject to at the master level. So this is very important. So apart from that, we celebrate Ramanujan's birthday every year. It's a very happy occasion for all of us, no doubt. But we need to propagate the mathematical culture through various forums so that we should try to think of a way to get more such personalities for India. Professor Sushma Agarwal is a director of the Ramanujan Institute of Advanced Studies, Madras University and is actively involved in taking Ramanujan's work to the public at large. We spoke to her on the National Mathematics Day celebration at her institute. This institute, this, uh, this place started in 1973. This is a merge of uh, 
Maths Department of University of Madras and uh, Ramanujan Institute which was uh, started by philanthropist Alagapa Chetia. This, uh, this in, uh, Department of Mathematics started in University of Madras in 1927. After the demise of uh, Ramanujan, Alagapa Chetia thought of uh, starting an institute in his name. So he started an institute, a Ramanujan Institute in his uh, house there, Kilpa house there. And uh, it was uh, for research in the memory of Ramanujan. After some time, after his uh, philanthropist uh, demise, this fin his institute was suffering uh, financially. So then uh, uh, many, like uh, they wrote to the uh, government, the central government, then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, that this institute should not die premature, has uh, premature death like Ramanujan. To, uh, so that time then uh, Jawaharlal Nehru asked, University of uh, uh, University Grant Con uh, Commission to take care of this uh, 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 means to decide about this. Then they wrote uh, University of Madras to take care of this institute. And uh, as you know, this uh, uh, Ramanujan uh, when he was uh, started his like uh, education means they uh, realized his talent and University of Madras was the first uh, to give him scholarship which was recommended by the Indian and British professionals. After five years he came back, 1990, but that time he was severe, severely ill. And But still Madras University called him, um, is offered him professor post to develop the maths department in University of Madras. But because of his ill health, he could not take up this. And uh, incidentally, after a few months, uh, in 1920, like April 26, 1920, he passed away. In uh, 2012, uh, that was the 125th birth, birth anniversary of uh, Ramanujan's birthday. That was celebrated in University of Madras. And then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh came for that uh, function, inauguration. And that year he declared uh, that this day, 22nd December, should be celebrated as National Mathematics Day. Hopefully, many more people will take advantage of the tools we have today to follow Ramanujan's lead and make great discoveries in experimental mathematics, whether they announce them in unexpected letters or not.